right, we are here at my outdoor worm bin and we have one main objective, and that is to update the cabbage worm experiment, frozen versus raw. And we are going to slowly reveal them. We'll also update the mango seed if we find it and maybe if we run into the grape stem or pine cone, but right away, you know, here's the critter hole, which I am eventually going to seal. Um, that is where the frozen cabbage was, and then the raw one was in front of that. So this is clearly the raw one, and it is looking mostly intact. And let's kind of go over where, <laughs> where the raw one is supposed to be. I'm going deeper and deeper. I'm finding worms and something a little hard this is i think we did put a little mango seed in the middle this might be the yeah there's the mango seed and the cotyledon is completely gone the main seed part where the food storage is this is the one that we've been updating it is just worms right there i thought it was bigger so we'll, we'll see if that's the one but let's keep going for that there's something. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's the, the extent of it, but we've got part cabbage. And I'm in the frozen section here. I'm getting a little bit more. All right, let's dig. Now most everybody, in fact, I think everybody said the frozen was going to go faster. And I think they are right. Cabbage has that you know, layer upon layer. So inside here, we're seeing some worms and actually black soldier fly larvae, one, two, three, four, five, and then just tons of worms in here. So they have really attacked this frozen one. So again, day five, this is as much of the frozen as you're getting. Oh, it's kind of gross, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty good. And underneath is certainly more worms here. Wow. That's pretty cool. Almost like a little worm ball. So definitely say at five days, we've, we're, uh, the frozen one is, is going first. And this was frozen for probably about six or seven hours. So it wasn't like a crazy deep freeze like multiple days like a lot of my food is so I don't know if that had an effect but they have definitely when compared to this and I'll come under here they have definitely almost as if they hadn't touched that this but they have and you know what that's that looks like some fresh roots right there so this cabbage is still trying to survive after being in my fridge for probably a month and a half but there are some worms here, but not a whole lot. So I think the ones that wanted to feast on cabbage went right here. Now, a couple things people warned me about. One, they said the smell. I do not smell much of anything. In fact, I can't, maybe a faint smell of cabbage, but nothing overwhelming. And again, this is, this is outdoors. And I'm gonna dig around as I'm talking here just to see what we've got um you know and then the other thing was how many days most people thought it was going to be pretty quick um one person said 11 days but i think by the time and that was for the frozen i think um i think this is going to be gone in five more days i'm going to recheck in five more days that's this portion right here of the raw this one i think is going to take a little bit longer um but I think there's also enough food in here that I'm not going to refeed it. And there's worms over here on the side. Now I did have the bin open um, to let kind of light in. So they may have retreated, but they're all over the place. So they're eating other stuff too. There was definitely some that were attracted and certainly the black soldier fly larvae were, but for the most part, they went to that raw cabbage and really took it apart and they could have you know taken it apart and been mostly done done with the portion a couple days ago and what we're seeing is just kind of the stuff that was a little bit tougher on them but 
definitely shows me just from looking at this and real quick here's the pine cone not a whole lot of change from five days wouldn't expect it but again just amazing that they would even go after this um but yeah it shows me that i'm definitely going to keep freezing my food unless something's mushy or applesauce or something like that that goes bad i am i'm absolutely going to freeze my food because it definitely helps with the the process of it getting oh here's that little mango seed it helps with the process of decomposition which helps them eat it so this is this what i originally showed was the the mango seed update so good so let's just kind of set this up again i've got a lot of um bedding cardboard right here i'm going to put a little bit more we've got that i am going to put some i'm going to put some coffee on it and some grit just to make sure they have food and they do i mean i could go a month and they would just eat everything down to castings i want to put some more paper and things are looking just slightly dry so i might come back in here i don't have any water with me but i might come back in here and put some water from my rainwater barrel in there um, but i'm not going to add any more food because i really want to focus on the cabbage experiment update so let's cover them back up and we will i'll put this I'll put that in the middle. We will keep knowing from the critter hole that the frozen is there and the fresh is there. I haven't moved them even though I lifted them up. And we'll come back in here in five days and update. And we'll go from there. So hope you enjoyed the update. Again, if you if this is the first video you're seeing, go and subscribe to my channel. I've got playlists with three different bins, uh, three different play playlists, and uh, you can watch my my um, videos from start to finish casting and certainly you can see the different experiments i do but we will update this again in five more days so i hope everybody's having a great day and happy vermicomposting everybody take care now